In Creo Parametric, you can leverage mechanism entities from a lower level assembly in a higher level assembly. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have a valve train assembly that I've used in a few different videos. I have it working properly. Let's take a look at the results of the dynamics analysis. I will go to the playbacks and click play. And then I can crank up the speed and hit the play button and just show you how this valve train mechanism works. We have the two different cams, which are pushing the valves up and down and the springs help them return back into place. So I've got this all set up in the valve train subassembly. Let's review some of the different entities that we have. If we go to the mechanism tree, I can go to connections and then expand joints. And yes, there are a lot of different connections in here for the pin connections and also the cylinder connections. If I expand cams, we also have cams between the exhaust and intake cams and the valves. And then if I expand gears, we have one gear pair. There is one motor, it's a servo motor. It's just called motor one. And we have a number of springs located in here. We have an initial condition and two analyses and one playback. So now that we have that, let's go to a higher level assembly. Here I am in the engine body assembly. It contains the valve train assembly as a component. Right now we are looking at a combination state which only has a few components from the engine body visible. Also contains a part simplified rep for the cylinder block to cut it away so that we can see essentially the components from the valve train. All right, so now that we're in the higher level assembly, let's go to applications and then mechanism. And when I click on here, you can see that in the graphics area, we have all the visual identifiers for the mechanism connections, like the gear pair and our cam connections and our cylinder connections, as well as the springs visible in the graphics area. If we take a look at the mechanism tree, once again, we have our different joint connections, and you'll notice that it says valve train to indicate the source of those connections. Same thing with the cams and the gear pair. We also have the motor available from the lower level assembly and the springs and the initial condition. But you'll notice that we do not have the analyses or the playbacks from the lower level assembly. So if I want to have a mechanism at this higher level assembly, I'm going to have to create it. So let me click on analyses. And then from the mini toolbar, I will choose the new icon. Then let's change the type from the default position to dynamic. I'm going to call this valve train because that is what it's going to work. And let's have it run for eight seconds. Let me crank up the frame rate. And I'm not going to lock any entities. Here underneath initial configuration, I can click on the radio button and use that initial condition. I'm not going to use a termination condition. When I go to motors, let me expand this, make it a little bit wider. You can see that we have motor one from the valve train. I'll have it run from start to end and external loads. I'm not going to use anything from this tab. Let me click the OK button. I'm not going to run it just yet. I also want to show you if you go to the drag dialog box, you'll notice that we have a couple of snapshots already in here. And once again, it indicates that the source of these snapshots is the valve train subassembly. All right, let's close out of here. And once again, we can go to the dynamic analysis. I will click on the green flag icon and now it has completed running. I can expand playbacks and we can play it back at the higher level. Once again, crank up the speed, hit the play button. And so that is how you can leverage 
mechanism entities from a subassembly into a higher level assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.